Counter Diary, Counter Diary, we are telling you the untold stories of Liberia. My name is Simano Kotu. Uh, right now, I'm standing between uh, just this intersection. Uh, we have Lane Street and that of Ashmore Street. And behind me, you see this building. This is the famous E.J. Raw building. But, you know, since the 1990 war up to now, this building has been like this. People have been looting. Uh, it was used for some people to even stand over there. I understand. It's that Benjamin Hitton used to be out there to do the World War, you know, uh, stuff, right? So at the end of the day, what happened to this building? It's left unkept. Nothing can be shown there. So we are going into the EJ Raw building to show you exactly what is in the EJ Raw building. This is Counter Diary. We are telling you the untold stories of Liberia. My name is Emmanuel Kotu. Keep watching. <music> Well, folks, thank you so much for always following this channel for more videos on Liberia. And if you're just coming for the first time, please hit that subscription button to subscribe to this channel. And you can also like and comment on this video. Liberia experienced 14 years of civil war, which started from 1990 and ended in 2003. One of the everlasting marks of the civil war on Liberia is the destruction of infrastructures in a country. The Truwee Party headquarters located on Ashmore Street in Morovia clearly shows the aftermath of the war in a country. The building was renamed Edward J. Raw Building in 1964 in honor of the former president Edward J. Raw. It was one of the prominent buildings in Liberia where important events were held. It hosted government meetings as well as legislative session. One of the famous events that was held here was the fourth annual message of the late Dr. William R. Todbot Jr., President of the Republic of Liberia, on January 24, 1975, when he delivered his State of the Nation address. Since the Civil War, the building has not received much attention in terms of renovation. The famous E.J. Raw building is now left at the mercy of nature. As you can see, leakage is all in the building, and the building seems to be a death trap in the city of Morovia. Despite the real nature of the building, some Liberians are still squatting in the building, majority of which are single mothers and their children who sell banana for their livelihood in the city of Morovia. We have some, uh, you know, women that are selling banana here, and I'm lucky to speak to one of them. Uh, how are you, um, sister? My name is Imano Kot. My name is Susan. Susan. Okay, so what do you do here? I sell banana here, make my banana red, hmm. sell it and get my children to eat bread. That is all. Okay, so uh, how long have you been selling in here? It's still on more than four or five years. Then you've been keeping it here. Do you guys pay rent to the owners of the building? No. Okay, but somebody would say this building is kind of like, you know, from when very scary, like it can collapse at any time. Do you have that thinking? It can fall because it's strong. So, yeah, you depend on what you say here to feel your family. How many children you get? Well, I get eight, though. You get eight children? Mm-hmm. And you do you, do you live in the building or you just... I'm, your... I'm making my market right here. You make your market rep here. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you sleep here too? Yeah. When you lay that here. So where do you sleep in the building? Oh. Upstairs? That one place, you see. That one area we went general. Mm -hmm. But the place is very, very, you know, like uh, the center of the area too is bad. Of, mm -hmm. Do you have bathroom in there? Yeah. Okay. And how do you get water in there? We can buy it. We can buy water. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if like uh, you were trying to, you know, give a message to uh, the government concerning this building, what would you tell them? 
when they won't take off for you, they say to us, they give our money that will go start ourselves with. No, I mean, I mean, the owners of the building itself, they say government will actually like party to get the building. We know. So you're just selling it? Yeah. All right, well, thanks for talking to me, yeah? Thank you, too. All right. The famous E.J. Royal Grand Auditorium is also left with the Scottish. <laughs> Telling you the untold stories of Liberia. My name is Simon Okotu. Currently, I'm in the most talk about EJ Raw building, and um, it's been a, you know an eye opener. I want to see exactly what is happening in here. Uh, this building used to be one of the most popular areas in Liberia, and uh, but let's look at what is inside this building at this moment. So keep watching. This is Counter Diary. My name is Simon Okotu. All right, so um, while we try to go in there and show you exactly, uh, if you enter here at this moment, what you see is actually uh, more like uh, those who are taking care of the area. What is there? And then you say, what happened? You get, you get far away, eh? All right, so, but at the moment below here, what you see here is uh, they're selling, those who are selling plantain are done here. They said they put in their planting, I mean, of uh, banana and stuff all year. Uh, let me climb the step a little bit, see. Your son is inside. I want for you inside. I beg you. All right, so just, um, this is very risky to do, but I have to just try something to see. All right, but let's see the, no, where did you have the theater, right? Let's get down there, let's see something right here. So, um, I heard uh, one of my senior men, Reverend Martin, says they used to dance in here. Um, it's a very big hall. You know, this place will be a very big hall. Uh, but see what the place looks like now. The place is back. Cut it off. So um, I'm in a building, right? This is the most talk about each raw building. You've just seen around here, and we're still telling the untold stories of Liberia. Uh, keep watching. What is happening is that uh, my producer for the day is very scared, and he's thinking about this building can anytime collapse, okay? So we should leave. No, but I'm going to make sure I show you some other areas here. Keep watching. This is Counter Diary. We are telling the untold stories of Liberia. <laughs> So um, after seeing the hall, I want to go upstairs. Those who used to come here, sometimes they would, you know, sit back and 
you can still see this, this, the stairs are all in tight. Uh, but this place is very, very, very risky. Like I said, even my cameraman is afraid. But we just got to go through. And let me show you how it looks like at this point. Um, be careful, you know, when you come up here. So we are on more like this is like uh, the first floor. Uh, when you enter here, before you go to, you know, there's a place people used to sit, or more like a theater hall. Uh, you can see from here. Um, the place is dark, so let me take off my shades. So people used to sit up here. You know, camera will just show you. We used to sit up here uh, to watch performances down there. And one of those persons I can remember that told me that he performed here was uh, currently now Reverend Charlie Lee Van Mountain. He used to dance here. That's why he said to me, <laughs> come here and sing as well. So you see the whole place is dark. And this is the main hall. Keep watching. As part of efforts to save the famous E.J. Raw building, the General Services Agency, GSA, honor former President Ellen Johnson Salif administration appropriated the building for renovation in 2011. In the late 2013, due to the building room nature, it was closed for construction. The actions of the Liberian government to construct or renovate the E.J. Raw building provoked the leaders of the Truwi party who claim ownership of the building and therefore allowing the government to renovate or reconstruct the building would have taken the property from the party. The leaders of the party, the Truwi party, filed a lawsuit against the government of Liberia declaring the party as the rightful owners and to have government officials enjoined from further possession or construction at the property. If this renovation work was allowed, it would have cost the government of Liberia 13 million United States dollars. However, since the case become, the building is left alone. The question now is, will the E.J. Raw building ever be renovated? Well, that is another discussion for another day. And this is Counter Diary. Keep following. We are telling the untold stories of Liberia. So I've just seen this area. It's a town we go down to see. Uh, but the major area to go up has been locked, so we cannot be we cannot go up there uh, to see exactly how this place is like. But this is the most talk about E.J. Rob building. And I hope that uh, those of you who watch this video, um, I mean, I'm just trying to get more information about the place. But keep watching Counter Diary for more videos on Liberia. This is Counter Diary. We are telling you the untold stories of Liberia. Uh, let me just take you down a little bit. Let's go down. So um, here, like I told you, you will see a banana. This place is being used as more like a, for those who are selling banana. This is their area now, or this is where they sell the banana. So they keep their bananas here so that I will be able to you know, get rep, then they can take it to the next level. But I'm trying to see if I could get the stairs up there. Let's come closer. The camera may come closer and see. Yeah, you know, it may still scare. It doesn't want to come closer. So here. Yeah. So there is a staircase here, and I'm told the place is locked. So we can go up there. Yeah, so we just uh, stop here at the moment. I wanted to go up all in the building, but I can't go all over because, I mean, the caretaker is not around. You do it at your own risk. All right, cut. Okay, folks, thank you so much for watching this edition of the program, The Counter Diary. We are telling you the untold stories of Liberia. My name is Emmanuel Kotu. It's been a very great time. I know you've seen what is happening in there. Uh, what is the government of Liberia and that of the two we party state doing about this building? Well, it's another story for another day. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the subscription button to continue to follow the videos that we put out there on Counter Diary. We are telling the untold story of Liberia. Thanks to my producer for the day, Chuck and Flammer, for making this edition a success. Even though he's a friend, but we are here. This is Counter Diary. <laughs>